The paintwork, like most modern cars, is thin and soft, which is why it is prone to chipping and minor scratches. The edges of the hood and roof, seals, wheel edges and fenders are most susceptible to damage. To protect yourself from possible troubles, you need to glue a protective film on problem areas. This generation is not happy with the corrosion resistance of the body. We are not yet talking about through corrosion of the body, since the car is simple quite fresh, but they are already making for this. Among the elements subject to corrosion are the trunk lid and in compartment the inside of the doors and hood. If the car lives on the street, they begin to rust after 3-4 years of operation. Quickly, the red disease also affects the areas of damage to the paintwork. The bottom and suspension elements are prone to corrosion, the swing arm, beam, subframe, brackets, bolts and nuts. It is worth noting the absence of normal anti-corrosive at the seams, therefore, when operating a car in megacities, it is recommended to do additional anti-corrosion treatment. Among the shortcomings of the Toyota Corolla slash Auris E180 body equipment, it is worth highlighting the use of unsuccessful door opening angel limiters. They wear out quickly and stop fixing the door in an intermediate position. To solve the problem, you will have to look for a special repair kit or collective farm, picking up metal inserts since the price of a new part bites from 40 USD. Things are not better with the quality of the protective plastic of the front optics, which already by 80,000 km of run losing its former transparency becomes cloudy. On Auris 2, the headlight bulbs HIR2 also have a modest resource. With the advent of cold weather, the cable for remote opening of the trunk lid may freeze slightly. Winter washing can also lead to unpleasant consequences. Water penetrates into the door and freezes there, blocking the mechanisms of lock and power windows. Afraid of washing and electric folding exterior mirrors, forgets the correct position. At the choice of Toyota Corolla slash Auris E180 wires, three gasoline aspirated 1.33, one R FE 99 horsepower 1.6, one ZR FE FAE 122 132 horsepower, and 1.8, two ZR FAE 140 horsepower were offered, and diesel 1.4, one ND TV 90 horsepower. For Toyota Auris 2, diesel engines of 1.6 and 47, 112 horsepower and 2.0, 180 FTV, 124 horsepower were additionally available. The model also has a hybrid consisting of a 1.8 liter gasoline unit and an electric motor. All motors, as well as their source, are well known to fans of the brand and servicemen from the previous generation of car. The stock engine is most often bothered by a poor, cold start and a progressive oil burn, makes seat 0.5 liters per 1000 km, which is caused by the formation of sod on the pistons and the occurrence of rings. It is worth noting that the elimination of the disease is more expensive than on other internal combustion engines, since here the pistons cannot be changed separately from the connecting rods. In addition, this engine is sensitive to fuel quality. If the engine is fed anyhow, the life of the EOSR, the ignition system will be significantly reduced and the cocking process will be accelerated. For prevention, it is recommended to carry out the decarbonization process every 50-60,000 km. Among other troubles, it is necessary to highlight the small resource of individual ignition coils, pumps and the noise of VVT clutch robots. The throttle drive unit can also be attributed to the problematic ones, in the event of a malfunction of which the check engine indicator lights up on the tidy and errors P2111 or P2112 appear. To eliminate the disease, you will have to change the unit and refresh the ECU. With proper maintenance, 0W20 viscosity oil is recommended, the 1NR-FE engine life will be about 300,000 km. The 1.6 engine is considered one of the most successful in the Toyota Corolla slash Auris E180 line. Among the shortcomings of this engine, one can single out the tendency of the throttle assembly and the intake manifold to form carbon deposits, retribution for the gas recirculation system. It is manifested by the unstable operation of the internal combustion engine. Early enough, the cooling pump makes itself felt, starts to flow after 50,000 km, the timing chain stretches closer to 150,000 km, hydraulic lifters starts to knock, and the valve cover gasket oil passes through. It was not without typical Toyota source, such as the noise of the VVTi and the regular malfunctions of the valve matic, which are accompanied by the appearance of errors and a decrease in dynamics. On a car with a millage of under 200,000 km, an oil burner appears, which will progress with an increase in millage, switching to a more viscous lubricant 10W30 or replacing the valve stem seals often helps to solve the problem. Motor 1.8 2ZR-FAE is structurally not much different from 1.6 1ZR-FE-FAE, respectively, and the weak points are the same. In a hybrid installation, in addition to the ailments inherent in internal combustion engines, no other breakdowns are observed. 
on older specimens, it is necessary to check the residual capacity of the batteries. The declared resource is 350,000 km, since their replacement is expensive, about 2,000 USD. Some companies offer services for the restoration of the energy storage device from 600 USD, but it is not known how long it will last after such a repair. To prolong battery life, it is strongly recommended that the battery cooling fan air intake be checked and cleaned annually. Most often, the weakest 1.4 engine 1ND-TV is found on the Toyota Corolla slash Auris E180. The main ailments are typical for solar ICs, a little resource of piezo injectors, a pressure regulator valve in the fuel rail, high pressure fuel pump, USR and the particulate filter. Plus, this turbo engine is famous for its good oil appetite and modest turbine resource. The current case ventilation system contributes to increased oil consumption. When contaminated, the lubricant begins to enter the intake and oozes from the oil seals. In rare cases, oil oozes at the junction of the head and block. Glow plugs can also cause a lot of problems. They serve for a long time, but replacing them is not easy, they are fragile and break off at the first opportunity. If the engine does not start well on a cold one or stall after warming up, first of all it is worth checking the serviceability of the internal combustion engine control unit. Also, low-quality diesel fuel can be the culprit. Otherwise, it is a reliable unit, which with proper maintenance and the use of high-quality fuel can do without significant repairs up to 500,000 km. The 1.6 motor has German roots, it is a representative of BMW's N47 series engines. On this model it is not common, but it is for the best, since the maintenance of this unit is unreasonably expensive. Of the main ailments, I know the small resource of the timing chain, 100-150,000 km, to replace which you will have to remove the engine. About the same amount of fuel equipment and the crankcase case damper are enough. But all this is trifles compared to the consequences of overheating, which they usually prefer not to spread about when reselling a car, at least to crack between the cylinders. On older specimens, swirl flaps in the intake manifold can also present an unpleasant surprises, they jam when sod accumulates. The 2-liter 1AD-FTV diesel engine, in addition to the problems typical of diesel ICs, is prone to burnout of the washers under the nozzles, they serve 50-70,000 km, and the oil burner. Among other troubles are the short service life of the cylinder head gasket, the tendency to erosion of matting surfaces, the unreliability of the geometry of the turbine, it sticks over time, and the souring of the nozzles in the seats, they break off during dismantling. The declared resource of the internal combustion engine is 250,000 km, but in practice the piston can withstand about 350,000 km. The list of transmissions available for the Toyota Corolla Auris E180 consists of 5-speed manual and V-belt CVT Azin K311 AKXB-20 LN after 2015 Azin K313. Complaints about the reliability of the manual transmission at least. The list of weak points includes clutch, which with an aggressive driving style does not withstand even 100,000 km, CV joint anthers, burst in the cold, drive oil seals, sweet with oil. The clutch pedal is also among the problematic ones, it creaks, lubrication is required and freezes in severe frost. Some owners know the presence of difficulties with the inclusion of third gear, fortunately this problem is not massive. The variator is also endowed with a good margin of safety, however, like other transmissions of this type, it is extremely sensitive to the quality and purity of the transmission fluid. With a rare oil change, wear products accumulate in the box, which clog the solenoids and accelerate the wear of the Teflon rings, which lead to a decrease in lubrication pressure, damage to the friction clutches and steel discs. In addition, dirty oil significantly reduces the life of the input and output shaft bearings of the cones. It should also be noted that the variator tends to overheat during slippage or long-term movement in traffic jams, which leads to early failure of friction disc sets. Another reason for early repair of the gearbox is abrupt starts in cold oil, the wear of the belt, cones and other iron accelerates. As in mechanics, the drive seals quickly give up, but in the variator this ailment can be fatal for the box, leads to a decrease in the level of lubrication. Installed since 2015, the ASIN K313 variator is, in fact, a copy of the K311, only with differential gear ratios. The suspension architecture of the Toyota Corolla slash Auris E180 is typical for representatives of this class, McPherson struts in front, a torsion beam in the back. In general, the suspension is reliable and, with exception of some details, is capable of doing without repair for a long time. Among the parts that are the first to be handed over, stabilizer consumables are traditionally listened, they serve 40-70,000 km. Shock absorber supports bearing can also make themselves felt early enough, they begin to creak after 70,000 km of run. The rest of the suspension parts, depending on the operating conditions, serve 120-180,000 km. 
In the rear suspension, after 100,000 km, shock absorbers need to be replaced, and closer to 250,000 km, it is recommended to replace the silent blocks of the beam. The steering system uses a rack and pinion mechanism with an electric booster mounted on the steering column. The rail here is quite reliable and in most cases makes itself felt after 150,000 km of run. But the power steering may require attention earlier. Most often, failure of an amplifier is caused by leakage of lubricant, which loses viscosity in the heat and seeps through the body seals. Reliable and braking system. The only thing that can spoil the owner's nerves at this are the caliper's brackets, which begins to rattle after a slight wear of the pads. To solve the problem, the installation of modernized brackets is required, however, domestic motorists often modify the part on their own. Selling Toyota Corolla slash Auris E180 looks good, but the quality of finishing of some interior elements leaves much to be desired. So, for example, the steering wheel rim and the upholstery of the side wall of the driver's seat already look tired by 100,000 km. Quite quickly, plastic parts and interior equipment control buttons become scuffed. Not happy in the car and acoustic comfort. In addition to mediocre sound insulation, the owners also know the presence of crickets that come from under the plastic panels. Of the minor troubles, one can single out the unsuccessful fastening of the glasses compartment cover, it warps, and the presence of a creek in the front seats. After restyling in 2015, the quality of finishing materials has improved slightly, however, the situation has not changed dramatically. But the reliability of electronics and selling equipment does not raise any special questions. The only thing that can fail is the mirror control unit, which most often had time to change under warranty. In terms of the reliability of the technical part of the Toyota Corolla slash Auris E180, it does not raise any special questions, but the finishing materials, the quality of painting and body iron have become worse than the previous generation. If you are the owner of this car model, please describe the problems that you had to face during the operation of the car. Perhaps it is your review that will help readers of our site when choosing a car.